Good day. In this video, I will show you how to do the DLSUD uh, online application for freshman, senior high school, uh, graduate school. So first, let's type www.dlsud.edu.ph. Then you will be brought into the De La Salle University website. Then you would need to click this part, admissions and application. So on this page, you will see two options. One is uh, it read as I already have a DLSUD admissions portal account. Uh, I will show you later what this part is. Uh, what this part is for. Then the second, we would need to first do the second option. So register. I want to register a new account. So this is the first page. Register admissions account. First of all, you would need a valid, legit email address because all the information uh, and the link after this part will be sent to your email. Then afterwards, the password. I, I would suggest that you make your password as uh, simple as possible. No need for a very complex password for this one then your surname you would you would be you would need to be very careful with your surname because uh, of course your application will depend on whenever we search your name based on what you have typed then maiden's name so if you don't have any maiden's name applicant's maiden name you could leave it blank but if you have you can type one just don't forget to click this portion check if middle name is not available then the suffix suffix is the uh, part that some of the students always forget so if you have a, an extension of your name like the first the second the third that's suffix junior senior is also a suffix don't forget to type that one to put that one then the secret question so this is very important. Once you forgot your password, you will be asked with a secret question. Then last part is the code. You would need to input that very clear. If it's a capital letter, you would need to type it capital. If it's small, type it small. Then register. And this one, verify admissions account, you would need to click yes. So you could continue. Then let's wait for the link to be sent to your email address. Visit your email ad. Then you will see a email saying that you would need to validate your email address. Then uh, thank you for signing in for admissions account at De La Salle University. Click the link and you will be forwarded to the uh, register admissions account verification. Then click go to login page. This You will be brought to this page. The DLSUD admissions portal. So type your name, uh, your email address, then your password, then sign in. Step one, application for admission. At this part, in this part, you would uh, need to create your application form, application of your information. Then choose uh, the right category you are applying for. If you are a college freshman, uh, choose college freshmen. College freshmen are the ones who finish uh, senior high school level. So, then if you are senior high school, senior high school, you finished grade 10. Then graduate school, once you finish your college, that's graduate school. So let's choose college freshmen. You would need to choose the course that you would like to take. So uh, on the left side is the course. You will see the course. And then in the right side, you will see if it's still open. So once it's not, it's no longer available, you would be, uh, on this part, you will see that it's already closed. Then you could 
again choose another course if you have a second choice so if you have a uh, first choice it's okay if you have no other courses that you would like to choose it's okay also then the second part your applicants the applicants information so on this part you would need to fill out uh, your name your gender your birth date so you wouldn't be need you would need to be very careful on your application information because uh, if ever you would need to ask some information about your application you we would need to verify if it's you so uh, we will uh, our question will depend on your birth date birthplace religion so on so on so on so forth Please be very careful on this part, the citizenship part. So if you're Filipino, of course, you would need to choose Philippines. But if not, uh, so you are considered a foreign student of, or if you are a dual citizen, uh, please choose uh, yes. So these are the requirements that you would need to submit. Like for example, if you have a passport, we would need to have your passport number, uh, issued authority, so on, so forth. Then if no, just click no. The next, next would be your ad, uh, address and your contact information. So with the address, let's try this one. Provincial. Uh, then add address. So these are the one that I have in uh, fill out. It's not saving. So there's a problem. Uh, it says this, please encode a permanent address. So earlier we have uh, fill out, we had, we chose provincial. So we would need to go back at that part and edit. change the address type let's change it to permanent from provincial to permanent so that's it then save so it worked so you would need to choose permanent then parent and guardian information please fill out this part you would need to encode information of your parent your father, mother, and your guardian or any person that is available whenever there's, a, there's an emergency. Then educational information. So this part is also important because we would need the, your information if we request some documents from your former school. So first, if you're college, you would need to fill out the senior high school information part first. If you did not attend, so click that part. But if you do, uh, uncheck the part. Then choose your school. If ever your school is not on the list, click other. Then you will be prompted to encode your school address. So for th this will be our reference for that school. So next time we would need to encode that school. So if ever your school is in the list, just choose the school then uh, it automatically the address will be given. Your section is also an important part. Then your academic track and your strand that you took. Then the junior high school, same with the senior high school part. If your school doesn't exist on the list, choose other. If it's there, choose the school. Then the next. The pre-admission questionnaire. So on this part, you would need to answer very carefully the questions. As uh, For some courses, uh, your result will also depend on your pre-admission questionnaire. So... Uh, answer it wholeheartedly. Yeah. 
So the last part of the pre-admission questionnaire is how did you learn about TLSU Das Marinas? The next would be the character reference. Character reference, you would need to put the person that you trust the most at your school, like for example, your advisor, guidance counselor, or principal. Then, then next is the disclosure. So please read this part very carefully because in this part, we would need to know some important information about your health. Uh, please disclose all the things that you think that is very important for the school to know because we would need to uh, give you some special, at least uh, special things, instruction to say if ever uh, you would click yes on this part. If no, then you can continue. On this part, you would need to upload some important documents like pictures, your Form 138, which is the high school card. So, of course, uh, the official high school, high school card is not yet official. So, just ask for a copy from your school because you would need to submit it on this part as a proof of your application. So, for example, uh, let's try the picture. So, I have uploaded a 2x2 two two sample picture. So this is it. If ever you would like to change, you can edit or you could delete. It's, if it's uh, already okay, the next, the policies and the conditions. Also, please read this part very carefully. Because we have also instruction of the things that you would need to know about the LSU Des Marinas. Also, the drug testing consent. Of course, we will not do things if there is not consent from you. So click agree, the next. So you have already finished all the part. Now we need to verify your application. Step two, the validation. So once you finish the application information, you are now ready for validation. On this part, you would need to wait uh, for at least three to five days uh, for your application to be validated and verified by the admissions personnel. So you can see uh, or you can confirm your valid if your application has been validated to your uh, student portal. So for now, you can download your application as a proof that you have finished the online application. And some important reminders on your application. So this is the summar summary of the application. Step one, application, register and log into DLSU the admissions, the requirement, and once you're finished, please wait at least three to five working days. So once your application has been validated, you would need to pay the 500 pesos application fee. Then after the 500 pesos, the 3,500 pesos confirmation fee, which will be deducted on your tuition fee once you are officially enrolled at De La Salle University Des Marinas. Medical fee is not included on the 3,500 fee. So you can pay at the following accredited payment uh, centers. Uh, also, please do note of the uh, admissions calendar, some important reminders and date that you would need to follow. So that would be it. I hope this video has been a big help to you. Thank you so much and have a good day.